back everybody to another episode of Go Little Garage. Today we're not going to be building Legos, but we are going to be building something Lego related. I've had this display case for my Speed Champion from Wicked Brick for several months now and I've been wanting to hang it on the wall, but I haven't gotten the opportunity to yet. So today we're going to be hanging it up and I'm going to be making a how-to video because it doesn't come with any instructions. It just comes with 4,872 pieces and a note for good luck, but it looks really high quality and the way it displays the Speed Champions kits I really like. So we're gonna put it up on the wall and see what it looks like. So first things first, the tools we're gonna be using. I got a hammer, I got a small screwdriver for the actual display case itself, I got a level, and I got a bigger screwdriver for both the mounting screws and to make the holes in the drywall for the anchors. Since I've already measured and where on the wall I want to put this is right in between two studs, I'm gonna be using these screw-in anchors and I'm gonna hold it up with a nail while we level it out and figure out where these anchors actually go. So one more thing to mention, every single one of these pieces comes with a protective film on it. Since we're going to be dealing with metal tools and the acrylic is really soft, we don't want to scratch it, I'm going to leave the film on until we get everything put together. So let's get started. where we're gonna to have to put the anchors. I'm gonna take this off and I'm gonna put the other hardware piece on. I've already put the others on, but I needed this hole free to put the nail in. So the hardware that holds all these acrylic pieces together are these little metal cubes and these little tiny screws. These little metal cubes are drilled and tapped on three different sides. I don't know if you can see that, focus, there we go. And then these little tiny flathead screws. So I've already got seven out of the eight installed in this back plate, but I needed the other one to hang it and position it on the wall. So now I'm gonna put this other one in and then we'll be ready for the next step. All right, our next step is to get these drywall anchors into the wall. And for that, a Phillips screwdriver is just the right size to make a hole big enough for the drywall anchor, but to still give it enough resistance to bite onto the drywall. Mounting holes on this display case are spaced perfectly to fit two studs on your wall, but unfortunately where I wanted to put this is right in between two studs. So we have to use these drywall anchors and that's what we're doing now. Besides being a makeshift drill, the Phillips screwdriver also puts these into the wall. drywall anchors are in we're gonna put our four screws in and we're gonna leave them out just a little bit because this display case is gonna slip on top of it and then we'll tighten it down to the wall all right we're now ready to mount the very first piece onto the wall but first, we have to take off that protective film on the acrylic, and we have to put these five little felt discs on the back of it so that it pushes it off against the wall a little bit so the screws don't damage the wall. All right, with our pads installed and our film removed, we're now ready to hang this on the wall. With this piece hung up now, we can take this film off too, and we can screw in these screws to make this piece flat against the wall. first is because the screws are on the back side and obviously we can't screw them in once we have this mounted to the wall like it is now. Now we have the first piece hung, we have two more black pieces that go onto the back part. One piece that spaces out these screw heads and starts our slots for our shelves and then another piece that covers the screw heads so it hides them so you don't have to see them and gives us the rest of the slots for the shelves. three of our back plates on, we can put our sides on and they're going to hold these on with these notches on the side. Okay, now with our sides on, 
put our top and bottom on, but we're only gonna attach them on the back just like we did on our sides. We're not gonna attach them on the front yet because we need them to flex in order to put these shelves in the notches. tabs on them and then there's one shelf that does not has the little notches on the corners this is the bottom shelf it just sits on the bottom here the rest of these fit in the notches in the center of the case now be careful when you're removing this top layer protective where these two little studs are because i don't think they're glued in so i tried putting the shelves in first but these flex too much and they just come crashing down and i don't want to break anything so i'm going to put these corner pieces in and we'll just flex the acrylic out a little bit to put the shelves in shelf in. Obviously the studs go up to the front and there's really only one way that this can go. Alright, they're all in. Nobody touch them. That's a pain in the butt. That's not fun at all. You're gonna struggle with that. I mean, I guess you could just slide it on and leave the screws kind of loose and put it together all on the ground, but I wanted it tight against the wall, which means you have to screw that back plate in first, which means everything else you're dealing with flexing acrylic plates, which is where we're at now, and now I have damaged pieces. I'm gonna be reaching out the Wicked Brick, but for now, let's keep going. Next, we get to install 24 of these guys. These are the little plates in the back that hold up the cars at an angle. And before I put these little stands in, I'm going to clean this with a microfiber towel. Remember, don't use any chemicals on the acrylic or you'll craze it, which means you'll turn it kind of cloudy. You don't want it to be cloudy, you want it to be crystal clear. Okay, as we put these in, remember that the shelves are very precarious and we just clean them, so try not to get any fingerprints on them and try to be very careful so you don't make the shelves collapse again. actually go in really tight so I'd recommend putting them in before you put the shelves in. So it seems that the best way to get these in are to get them square, push them in a little bit, and then wiggle them back and forth instead of side to side. That way they'll sit a little bit more flush and they'll go in a little bit easier. Okay, with all the stands in, now it's time to get these last four pieces of hardware in and then we'll get the front cover on. Installed, it's time for the final step, well, second final step, of putting the cover on. And the final step, we'll be taking the cover back off, filling it up with cars, and putting the cover back on, but that's for another video. Wicked Brick 24 car speed champion wall mounted display case. I hope this has been helpful. I hope you can use this as actual instruction and stay tuned for the next video of me filling this thing up with all my speed champions cars. If you found this video helpful or you've at least enjoyed it, please hit the subscribe button down below so you can follow along with all the other things that we go around. As for now, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.